Hello and welcome to another episode. Yesterday I was asked by someone called Chaz in the comments about the current state of health of my car. Because um, he knows that mine was one of the early ones that goes back to November 2021. So my car will be three years old in two months. And I passed on some information to him and he shared some information with me. Um, but it's never that simple to figure out how much battery capacity you've lost in, in that time. Although there is one pointer inside a car scanner, the, the state of health, which is that there. And car scanner, of course, uses that. This is just a picture. That's a VP ODB adapter that plugs in just down there. As you can see on there, that says 100% state of health in the corner. There has also been a lot of talk and, and, and study into this on the EV forums. There's one particular thread where they've been collecting all of the data and collecting the remaining energy. So at 100%, they've been recording the remaining energy, the mileage of the car, the date, the state of charge, and the state of charge on the BMS, and also the state of health percentage of what they're getting. So as you can see on this post from uh, MAG76BHS, they've been recording this since 2023 when they've, when they're down at 32,000 miles and they're now on 81,000 miles. And their st state of health is now down to 97.3% and the remaining energy in kilowatts stored at a 100% state of charge is 68,096. Now they have been using a formula where they divide by 74,000 because that's the estimated usable battery on the EV6 to come out with a, a capacity loss percentage. But this has been disputed in my previous two year roundup of my car and and it, it doesn't quite add up figure wise with the state of health percentage, but it seems to be roughly related. So the less remaining energy at 100% the less the car's got to give. So uh, anyway, what does my car say? My car at 19 degrees Celsius yesterday was 73,350 remaining energy in kilowatts. And that was 96.5 state of charge on the BMS and 100% charge on the screen. Also bear in mind the remaining energy goes up and down depending on the ambient temperature. So. In my two year review video last November, or was it December? I took I took a few readings there and I actually got on December the 1st at five degrees Celsius, 72,606. So that proves it goes up when the temperature gets warmer because there's less resistance in the battery. And if I divide 73,350 by 74, I get 0.991% battery de degra degradation. So that's, that's, that's enough not to trigger the state of health figure going downwards, if you believe that figure. Also, the other the other thing I looked at was the cell voltages to see if they're all the same, uh, because if you've got a dodgy cell, that can show you that there's an issue as well. So, fully charged yesterday, all of mine were at 4.12 volts. There is no cell difference, so, in my book, my battery is in good shape. And when my car was at 70% state of charge, the remaining energy was 50,336. And the cell voltage was 3.88 all the way across. So that shows you it goes up and down, depending on your state of charge. Anyway, I, I hope um, others will find this useful. If you've got access to car scanner and you can charge to 100%, uh, let me know your figures be interesting to see what everybody else has got and what your mileage is. If you've got more knowledge on this than me, please put it in the comments and, and pass it on. Happy to learn from others who know a little bit more. Thank you for watching.